Hello, my name is Robert Yarrell and this is a story about my Art Deco wristwatch collection. It's funny how as kids we often learn to collect things, usually under the guidance of our parents and grandparents. As a boy, I first started collecting used postage stamps and old coins. And when I got older, my stamp collection expanded to include more elaborate things like Australian first day covers and entire sheets of special edition stamps. My coin collection also grew to include Australian proof sets and special issues. As I matured, so did the size and quality of my collections. But little did I know that these simple interests would one day morph into me becoming an Art Deco wristwatch collector. It wasn't a natural progression though. Little Herbie came into my life and he was the catalyst for my wristwatch collection. Who is Herbie? Herbie is a 1932 Austin 7 RP box saloon, a vintage British motor car named after his maker, Lord Herbert Austin. And what has this vintage motor car got to do with a wristwatch collection? Well, it's quite simple. Whenever I displayed Herbie at vintage car shows, I wore apparel of the car's era. This included clothes, hats and caps, woolen scarves, trouser braces, and of course, to top it all off, props including spectacles, a gentleman's tobacco pipe, and a period correct wristwatch. I did some research on what type of wristwatch may have been worn by Herbie's original owner way back in 1932. This is where my eyes were opened to the wonderful world of Art Deco. What is Art Deco and why do I like it? Art Deco is a diverse artistic and design style. It began in Paris in the 1920s and flourished internationally throughout the 1930s and into the World War II era. During this period, American watch manufacturers produced the highest quality wristwatches in the world, complementing their superior mechanical craftsmanship with fantastic case designs, exhibiting bold design elements such as enamel and geometric patterns. Famous manufacturers such as Bulliver, Elgin, Ruin, Hamilton, Illinois and Waltham produced true works of art that transcended their basic utility as mere timepieces. Art Deco influenced areas of design other than fashion and jewellery, including architecture and interior design, industrial design, as well as the visual arts such as painting, graphic arts and film. The term Art Deco was first used widely in 1966 after an exhibition in Paris called The 25 Years and subtitled Art Deco, celebrating the 1925 International Exhibition of Modern Decorative and Industrial Arts that was the culmination of the modern style in Paris. At its best, Art Deco represents elegance, glamour, functionality and modernism. So why an Art Deco wristwatch collection? 
My research resulted in me developing a deep fondness for these early wristwatches, and especially those produced between about 1920 and 1940. I came to believe these high-quality timepieces exemplify the ultimate in wristwatch design. So I splashed out and purchased a 1932 Hamilton brand wristwatch to complement my Herbie props, and it was a very handsome timepiece indeed. But I didn't stop there. Just like stamps and coins, I caught the collecting bug. I continued my research and quickly accumulated three, then four, and then five Art Deco wristwatches, and then more again. I soon realized that I needed to organize and document my growing collection. So I compiled a small booklet called the Art Deco Wristwatch Collector. The more I saw of these small mechanical miracles, the more I liked them. I soon realized that my booklet needed logical structure and should feature the wristwatches in chronological order for each manufacturer. And that meant a lot of work for me. What had I got myself into? For each section, I composed a story about the manufacturer. There was the bull of a story, the Elgin story, the Gruen story, the Hamilton story, the Illinois story. and the Waltham story. And those sections featured the wristwatches in year order, every one of them a work of art and displaying their original splendor. I kept the same display format throughout the booklet, each wristwatch having the name of the manufacturer, model name, movement type and size, case material, and price when new in US dollars. Now, let's take a few minutes to discover and appreciate my Art Deco wristwatch collection. You may never experience a collection like this again. So please pay close attention to these precious vintage spring-driven mechanical marvels.
I also collected a few pocket watches along the way. Naturally, I also noted other valuable information about these Art Deco wristwatches. Such as details of the various movements, their grade number and the years the movements were produced. but it was really getting a bit over the top when I made a list of all the Hamilton wristwatches I would ideally like to have in my collection. So, like most things in life, I eventually decided that enough was enough and the routine hand winding of all these Art Deco wristwatches and pocket watches might give me arthritis. And I might not live long enough or be rich enough to continue collecting. So, with a heavy heart, but without regret, I returned my entire Art Deco wristwatch collection back to its country of origin, the United States of America, where it is now appreciated and enjoyed by other vintage wristwatch enthusiasts. I hope you have enjoyed my story, which is just one of many life experiences I have enjoyed although some people might say endured. Thank you.